In this video, we will discuss editing pipe networks. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 1205 editingpipenetworks.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this dataset video. Civil 3D provides many ways to edit pipe network objects. Let's examine the different methods. First, we have grip editing. So let's go ahead and zoom in to our catch basin here at 10 plus 25, and let's just simply rotate it. So I'll just select the catch basin and rotate it so that it is perpendicular by simply snapping to the curbing in the background there. We can move around here, and if we want to, we can also simply just rotate these to, let's just say, better line up with the alignment. So grip editing provides a very easy way to simply rotate objects if you need to. And in a second, we'll also learn how you can actually grip edit these to make modifications to the elevations as well. You can also select objects and go to their properties, which will show you everything about those objects. You can do this in the plan or the profile view as well. So let's go ahead and modify our existing invert here to actually be at the correct elevation. Because when we first placed it, it just applied the rules and just placed them in there based on those rules. So I'll select this pipe object in the profile, and then I'll go to the pipe properties right there. If you go to the information tab, you can tell what style and render material to use if you'd like. You can also go to the part properties and see absolutely everything about that pipe object. You can change its slope. You can change the elevations. And that's what we're interested in right here. So for the start invert elevation, we need to change this to 89.47 based on the field notes given to us by the surveyors. This one here will be at 88.67. And I'll just click apply here and notice how it updates automatically within the profile. The plan view obviously will also update, it's just that you can't see it. As you scroll down, we'll notice some of the other edits that you can make here, including the different parts here for labeling. Again, as mentioned before in the overview video, these are simply there for labeling and will not be used, at least at this time, for drainage design. If you wanna change the rules or override the rules, you can change these rules here as well. You can simply toggle this off here and then define for this specific pipe that you want this to be set to, let's say, five feet value and so on. Click OK, and we have edited those invert elevations. So let's say as we're replacing the pipe network object, we forgot to select the correct structure. So I want to swap out this part for a wing wall. So again, you can do this in the plan or the profile view, it does not matter. I'll hit escape and select that structure, and I'll go to the swap part tool here in the modify panel. In this case, it's a concrete rectangular head wall. So I'll just select that and then click OK. And then just like that, notice how it automatically updates in the plan and the profile view to show us the correct style and everything. Of course, we again have a problem with the rotation here. So I'll simply select this structure and simply rotate it to the alignments rotation. And now it's rotated at the correct rotation. Again, very simple, minor edits using the grips. So one of the other things that you can do is actually select a structure as well, and you can go to the structure properties. So where this is a little bit different is the fact that you can change the style, of course, but in these part properties, you'll see structure specific type edits, of course. And what's even nicer about sometimes editing it in this way is if you go to the connected pipes and you select it here, you'll notice that as I selected this, it actually highlighted in the drawing. So here's one way that you can actually go in and change the invert elevation, centerline elevation, or the crown elevation. As with the pipe rules, you can change or override any of the default rules as well by simply toggling this off and then changing any of the settings that you might wanna change. Also, as a little tip here, if you want to select the actual pipe network object in the profile view, sometimes it's easier to just simply edit it right here and I can choose any of the provided grips here by picking them and then using the apostrophe PSE transparent command, which is profile station elevation, to actually change the invert elevation in the profile view. A really cool way to do that. Let's zoom to our proposed profile over here. And we notice that the pipe network objects are completely incorrect. 
So what happened was we added this one here while in the middle of the pipe network layout tool and it didn't apply all the rules from beginning to end. So let's simply reapply those rules. And so what I'll do here, again, using that select similar functionality, I'll select a structure and a pipe network object in this pipe network. Right click select similar. That will select all the common items in this pipe network. And then I'll select this one. And then at the end here, we have the wing wall. In the modify more tools option, you have the apply rules. Notice how you can also change the flow direction if let's say you chose it incorrectly and it would reapply the flow direction based on the rules. I'll click apply rules. And if I look at the command line window, it says select upslope part in plan. So in the plan view, I'm gonna start at the beginning here and simply click on this and then press enter and notice how it will automatically reapply the rules. And now it's going to ask me to select the next downslope part because it needs to know where to end this reapplication. And then I'll press enter and notice how it automatically updates those objects. So as you can see, it does its best guess and job to actually put the pipes and structures in here. Of course, we would probably have the proposed elevations anyway, but let's go ahead and just use grips here to just show some of the functionality that you can do here. So I'll go ahead and just select this pipe network object. And let's say I want to change this invert elevation to match this invert elevation. So I'll simply snap there. And now it matches the invert elevation. And for this here, I actually want to match this invert with the existing ground. And automatically it will update and adjust for us. So how do you change things globally? In other words, what if I initially applied the wrong style, the wrong layer, et cetera, to the actual pipe network objects? How do you change them globally? If you go to the Prospector tab, expand pipe networks, and then in your networks, you can actually edit these in the panorama. If I simply right click on the network itself, I can choose Edit Network from the shortcut menu, and then I'll choose the Pipe Network Vistas. And in the panorama window, you'll see you get two tabs, one for the pipes and one for the structures. So if I go to the pipes here, I can go in and globally change things by simply selecting them. So let's say I wanna go in here and I'll navigate to the style column and I'll simply select all of them. And when you make any kind of global changes, and this is common for all entities within Civil 3D and a panorama type window, you right click on the header. So if I right click on the header and choose edit, I can then change it globally here. So if I wanna change this to let's say a single line storm, I can do so and then click okay. And then in my plan view, you'll now see that every single pipe network object is shown as a single line entity. This applies to any fields within here that you can actually change globally. Again, you can do the same thing for the structures by simply selecting them and then right clicking and choose edit. 